Hi, my name is Lindsay Rogers. I'm with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission, and today we're going to be talking about worms. We're going to do an experiment that you can easily replicate in your classroom. We're going to want to start out with the composting bin that you've already set up. Dig down and find a couple red wigglers. Two or three should do the trick. I've got a couple here. We're going to want to take our red wigglers and we're going to want to put them into our bin. I've put a couple of pieces of wet paper towel in the bottom. Worms need uh, moisture to stay alive, to breathe, so using these wet paper towels will ensure that your worms can survive for the two or three hours to do this experiment. Now that we have our worms here in our um, bucket, you're going to want to take and cover half of your bucket with a box. What does this do? It provides a dark and a light area of our box. What does this do? It allows our students to experiment whether worms like a light environment or a dark environment. That's it, it's that simple, and yet, if you think about it, we've covered the entire scientific process. We're making a hypothesis. Do you think your worms are gonna like light or dark? We are setting up an experiment, so we are completing all of our materials. Then we are taking results, so we are over time tracking our results and recording them. And then, at the end, we are sharing our results. Maybe have your students do a classroom presentation explaining whether they think their worms like light or dark and why. That's it. It's that simple and yet here's a great excuse to use your worms in your classroom.